Let's say we're asked to solve the equation x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0 using the quadratic formula. Anytime we wish to use the quadratic formula, we need to ensure that one side of the equation is equal to 0. That's already the case here, so we can jump right in with finding our coefficients. Remember that a is the coefficient of the x squared term, while b is the coefficient of the x term, and c is the lone constant by itself. So a turns out to be 1, b turns out to be 3, c turns out to be 2. Now all we have to do is replace all the constants for the different letters in the quadratic formula. b is 3, so we start with negative 3 because of the negative b, plus or minus because there's two solutions here, so we copy down the plus or minus. b is 3, so we get 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2, all over 2 times a, which is simply 1. Now we can clean up the arithmetic here. 3 squared will give us a 9. 4 times 1 is 4, times 2 is 8, so we get minus 8 here. This should be pretty easy to recognize. This will just give us negative 3 plus or minus. 9 minus 8 is going to give us 1, and we still have the square root all over 2. Now hopefully you, you all remember that the square root of 1 is simply 1. So x turns out to be two numbers, the first number being negative 3 plus 1 all over 2. Let's simplify that before we go on to the second solution. Negative 3 plus 1 will give a negative 2 over 2, and then negative 2 over 2 simplifies to negative 1. The other number that's a solution for x is going to be negative 3 minus 1 over 2. The numerator simplifies the negative 4 from negative 3 minus 1. Dividing that by 2 gives us a negative 2 as our answer. So these two x values are the two solutions to our equation x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0.